look at the artwork. Let's take a look at this. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Bill Finger is the artwork. And this is from Mad Comics number nine from 1954. Okay. This comic sent to us as a care package by Max. And Max, thank you very much for the love. I hope you're enjoying this reading. Okay. Let's have a read through the second story of this comic. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Let's read the top. Classical type comics department. Once upon an evening, dreary, while we pondered weak and weary in the public library. On a comic story plot. While we nodded nearly nappy, came an attendant, a tappy on our head so gently rappy spoke that's all the time you've got oh were we mad we howled we raved and that's what this story is about the raven by edgar allen poe clunk clunk bash bam little eye chart there e r n l s m f t phony poo poo huh. chocolate covered Jalavan, what is that? That Raven Maniac Elder. Let's read this. Once upon a midnight dreary, dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door this some visitor i muttered tapping at my chamber door only this and nothing more clunk clunk Bash bam. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow. For my books, sur surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here forevermore.
and the silken sad curtain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before so that now to still the beating of my heart i stood i stood repeating clunk 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 Tis some visitor entering, entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is it and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. that I scare was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there and nothing more. Click, squeak. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering fearing doubting dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave me gave no token And the only word there spoken was but was the whispered word Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word Lenore. Merely this and nothing more. Back in the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what threats is, threats is, and this mystery explore. Let me let my heart be still a moment, 
and this mystery explore this the wind and nothing more Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in their step a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obedience made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he. Least obeisance made he but with mine of lord or lady perched above my chamber door perched upon the dust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird, beguilting my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the con continence in lore yeah ha, ha. yo ho Though thy crest be sho shorn and shaven, though I said, art sure no raven, ghastly grin an ancient raven wandering from the nightly sh shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungain ungainly foul to hear discourse so plainly though its answer little meaning little relevancy bore for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being Ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird at least, a bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such name as nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid dust 
spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour nothing further than he uttered not a feather then he fluttered till I scarcely more than muttered other friends have flown before on the morrow he will never he will leave me as my hopes have flown before then the bird said never more Startled at the stillness, broken by reply, so aptly spoken, doubtless said I, what it, what it utters is its only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster. followed fast and followed faster till his song one burden bore till the dirgs of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never never more But the raven still beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. Straight I wheel the cushion seat in front of bird and bust and door. then upon the velvet uh, sinking i betook myself to linking fancy onto fancy thinking what this ominous bird of lore What this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of lore meant in cro croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eye now burned into my bosom's lore. This and more I sat divining with my head at ease reclining. On the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight cloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining 
with the lamplight gloating o'er. She shall press, ah, nevermore. Then, methought, the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by saffron. Saffrim, whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted, tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee. By these angels he hath sent thee. Respite, respite, and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore. Quaff, or oh quaff, this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quaff the raven nevermore. Prophet, said I, think of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether temp tempter sent or tempest tossed, thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert I land enchanted. On this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we doth adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven nevermore. <laughs> Be that word our sign of parting, bird or friend, I shrieked on starting, starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no plank plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken.
leave my loneliness unbroken quit the bust above my door take the beak from out from out my heart and take thy form from off my door quoth the raven nevermore And the raven, never f flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of palace just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon, demons that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore.